you your first. <laughs> uh, Ed Meyer, M-E-Y-E-R. And can you state your birth date? 8 17 uh, 24. How old am I? Uh, 32. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you. <laughs> what was the branch of service? You were in the branch of service? I, in the Navy. I, I was on a ship for three years. Um, where were you living at the time of your induction? Uh, Moline. Were you drafted or did you? I, I was drafted. You drafted. This is a kind of interesting. Uh, I was drafted when I was 18 years old, and I was drafted into the Army, and they said, uh, what branch would you like to be in? And I said, well, I'd like to be a tank driver or to field artillery. What they picked 10 guys out of 200, and they put us in the Navy. Did you know how to drive a tank? No, but I surely could learn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just thought a tank would be great, you know, crashing into everything. <laughs> what recollection do you have in, for, in the first days of your service? Well, uh, I was drafted into the Navy and uh, I couldn't swim. <laughs> and so we had to take swimming lessons and finally I could dog paddle a little bit. And so three Nights a week, I had to take swimming lessons, and I still couldn't do anything. Well, the last lesson, this was the only time I really got kind of scared. You had to climb up a 30-foot tower and jump off, because a 30-foot tower is a half as high as the average bow of a ship is. So if a Jap sunk you, you had to jump off, you know. And uh, I made it. And then the guy says, I don't care what you do, dog paddle, float, swim 200 feet and I'll pass you. <laughs> so I made it. <laughs> but I never did like swimming. <laughs> uh, where did you get your training? I trained at Great Lakes. I had nine weeks of boot camp and I came down with the mumps and I had to drop out of the original company and I came back and they sent me right to uh, San Diego. So I didn't get any school at all. What, um, what was boot camp like? Well, <laughs> if you didn't know your right from your left, like me, it was pretty rough. <laughs> I had a lot of happy hours. That's carrying a rifle over your head and going around the grinder, it's a mile around. <laughs> So I, I'd try to get one of them a week at least. Was it hard to adapt to um, Navy life? Oh, to Navy life? I had no problem. I was <coughs> in the forward engine room. I was fireman third class. That's as low as you can get. That's like a buck sergeant. I mean a buck private. And. Uh, at the end of the war, I had worked myself up to be motor machinist first class in charge of the forward engine room. So it's easy to get advancements in the Navy if you work at it. What was your job or like assignment? You ever been in an engine room? Uh -uh. You ever stood next to a locomotive engine? No. No? Well, anyway, your engine room is about 40 feet by 30 feet and there's 2,000 horsepower engines in it. This is a minesweeper. You can see it's not very big. It's 220 foot long. And uh, the mine cables is back here. And we leave cable out about 2,000 feet. It's got a depressor if you're sweeping for Regular mines is 20 feet under the water, and if you sweep for submarines, it's 70 feet under the water. And there's, uh, on these here cables, there's knives attacks. Well, a mine is up here and the anchor's down here, so the cable comes across and hits this cable, the mine cable, slides down the wire and the knife cuts it, and the mine floats to the surface.
and then it's destroyed. You hit a, they got horns on, if you hit the detonator, it shoots a column of water about 100 feet in the air. Very, very powerful. Yeah. And who's this? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you see, I had nice hair back then, and <laughs> that's what I hated crossing the equator when they cut that all off. <laughs> Mr. Meyer, is there anything else you can think of that you'd like to for, you'd, like, you'd like to add or? Uh, no, this is pretty interesting. I've had a few uh, interviews, but nothing like this one. I mean, this is a super one. <laughs>